exciting day. We're going after a bird that's limited to this very, very tiny area. It's the purple-backed sunbeam. This is Miguel Vasquez. He uh, is running the tour, basically. <laughs> he's making sure that everything we need, we have. And he's been doing an unbelievable job. And Carlos Calle, he's the owner of Fundo Alto Nieva. He's an expert photographer. He's written a book, and he's here. And I understand these two came here ahead of time to make sure that this bird was here and they know the areas where this bird is hanging out. So we have really good chances of finding it. This is a really, really special bird and I'm excited about today. After breakfast, we set out to find the bird with Americo, our local host and guide. We spotted some sunbeams in the trees in front of us, but they were all females or juvenile males. So we split up for a better chance to find a full male. William found one and sent word back for us to join him. After walking for what seemed like two miles, we caught up with him. Come on, what? come on, come on, come on, come on. This what? is... <laughs> what country did I just hike to? <laughs> I don't even feel it. <laughs> yes, William found us a male who liked showing us his beautiful back. The purple-backed sunbeam is a brownish bird with white upper chest feathers and white feathers in the area around its eyes and beak, giving the appearance that it's wearing a mask. Females and juvenile males don't have the spectacular shining violet and green back feathers. This bird is endangered because it's restricted to a tiny area and its habitat is being continually degraded. finished our first morning filming the purple back sunbeam and uh, this was just great. William Oriana is behind the camera filming but special thanks to Americo and Carlos. We have a beautiful view of some flowers that this bird loves and we got some great pictures and video.